Hello everyone. Today I will be working on this router board. This router has been dropped and it stopped working. So today I will be re-polling this BGA chip. I don't know if this is a CPU or what, but let's re it and see if it will work or not. Now, as you can see, I am putting the solder balls manually because I don't have the stencil for this specific PGA chip. So I had to put it manually. Okay, now after I have put all the solder poles in their places, I'll bring a hot air with 300 degrees lowest speed without nozzle and I'll start reflowing the solder poles. Okay, so as you can see, the solder bolts has reflowed nicely and they are all in their correct position and there is no bridges. So let's wait for it to cool down and let's prepare the board. So here's the board and this is the place where we took the BGA chip. So as you can see, there is still some remaining solder on the board. So I will use flux and a piece of solder wicking wire to wick all the solder off the board. I will apply a tiny amount of flux, just a tiny amount, because if too much flux is applied, the BGA chip will move during the reflow. And if the solder balls are just about to melt, they will stick in a wrong position. And I don't want that to happen. And I don't want to, ru to ruin my work. So here's the chip, the PGA chip. 
so all solders so the poles are nice okay so let's put it okay so we have here a tiny arrow that indicates pin number one and also we have here pin number one okay so the BGA chip should have also an arrow that indicates the position of it so it should be a bit like this I will start moving it until it looks down now I think it's in its correct position okay so I will hold it with a tweezer and I'll remove my hands now it's time to replow it So again, without nozzle, around 30% uh, airspeed and 380 degrees. I'll go down to 350 to avoid the chip from bubbling. This is all glue from the heatsink. This heatsink. And now I think it's okay so as you can see if I move it it pulls back to its position okay so I think that is enough I'll wait for it to cool down and we will try it Okay, so it's cold now. Let's put the heatsink back and so let's test it. So I have here a 12 volt power supply, so let's insert it. Okay, so here we have some LEDs that should light up. So now it's all on as we can see. As you can see, we have here 
a yellow LED. It's on. I want to see if some of the other LEDs will flash. Yeah, we have another LED here lighting up. Okay, so I think it's working now. Let me just see what LED is this. So that LED is actually the wireless LAN, WLAN. Okay, so I think now it's working. This is the power LED and this is the WLAN, which is wireless. So I will go to my phone and check if we do have Wi-Fi. So if I go to connections, Wi-Fi, do we have? Yes, we do. I can see the networks. So now it's working. It was not. So I'll try to connect a internet for it and see if it will provide internet for the connected devices. So it's working now. As you can see, I connected internet from this repeater LAN port to the routers one port and it works. Thank you for watching. I hope I can see you in another video. If you do like my video, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much.